Hello world and welcome back to my channel Honza's Collection and in today's video I would like to show you Thanos from uh, the movie Avengers Infinity War and this statue has been made by the company Diamond Select uh, and their uh, let's say selection uh, PVC gallery and before we will jump into what is in the box uh, I would like to show you the box art itself uh, it's uh, pretty okay in my opinion uh, so here you can see obviously Thanos himself uh, it's not really a picture from the movie even though that it kind of looks like it uh, you can see the likeness with Josh Brolin uh, as the actor who played Thanos in the movies uh, but uh, there is some photoshop ish work uh, on it so yeah that's the main picture uh, over here you can see that it's pretty much the same uh, the back looks as usual so same picture obviously statue itself and some interesting details so for example you can see that uh, it has been sculpted by Rocco Tartamella uh, over here uh, you can see that the sides are the same uh, on top it's also the same then on the bottom you can see some Marvel uh, logos here so yeah that's it so let's take a closer look what is inside the box so here is Thanos himself uh, to be honest with you, it's not really a new unboxing. Uh, I have him standing in my collection for about two, maybe three years now. Uh, but uh, before we will jump on him, I would like to show you this little piece right here. Uh, and if you have seen the previous videos uh, of mine, you know that uh, I'm very happy to show you guys what else is available. So here we can see, for example, classic Iron Man, you can see Jean Grey, you can see Old Man Logan from the very, very well acclaimed comic book. And here from the other side you can see uh, Guardians of the Galaxy uh, statues, uh, but uh, here I believe that it is a mistake. Uh, these statues are not from Avengers Infinity War, it's from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And if you have seen my review of Star-Lord, you know that uh, he has Guardians of the Galaxy on the box art itself. So. I believe that this is a mistake here to have this logo right here. Then we have Defenders and also Black Panther. Uh, I already do have a Black Panther in my collection uh, from Diamond Select, but I have a different version. Uh, this one is from uh, Captain America Civil War and I have to admit that he looks even better than the one which I already own. So. If I would be still collecting hot toys, I would definitely would be interested in him, uh, but I don't think that I will be able to, to add him to my collection one day. So yeah, that's what else you can possibly get if you are lucky, uh, but let's go back to Thanos himself and I have to start with the pose because it looks really really badass he looks that he is not a nice guy and that he is definitely ready to fight and uh, I like this this dominant uh, glove right here so you can see some details and yeah it could be better it could light up uh, but uh, that's not the case for diamond select statues uh, because as you know these pieces are just statues from PVC it's uh, one complete piece you don't have any uh, interchangeable parts you don't have secondary head sculpts you, you don't have any accessories you only will get this simple one piece which is a complete one so you either like it or you don't 
that's how it is easy with diamond select but uh, they are uh, pretty cheap statues for what you can actually get so uh, yeah but we will talk about it a little bit later in the video what I would like to point out is uh, actually the head sculpt here because in my opinion this is one of the best head sculpts that Diamond Select has ever made, uh, if not even the best one, uh, because the likeness with Josh Brulin here is uh, pretty pretty big. Uh, you, you can see like, I mean, like the whole face just looks like him. That's that's just incredible for the price that you are paying for this piece. So this is the pièce de résistance uh, as Justin's collection would say uh, of this uh, of this piece right here so yeah I, I don't have any complaints uh, maybe the paint job right I, if I would have to find something to complain about I would say that he's a little bit too blue a little bit too gray uh, so the paint job on the skin could be better um, but other than that I think it's just incredible this huge chest piece right here looks insane and then you can see the muscles right here it's it's also incredible so if you can have him standing like this in your display it's still it still looks just fabulous uh, and you can have another fighter right here against him so yeah this pose like even though that it's a statue the uh, the pose is just incredible and the details are great as well you can see his his little skirt right here and if we will be talking about the boots uh, you can see that the details here are also not bad at all it's pretty impressive actually so yeah for 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 the price that you have to pay for this guy he's just too damn good uh, and then the base uh, well I really like these brown pieces right here. I don't know if it's wood or if it's supposed to be some uh, sort of a metal style piece material because this looks like a pipe. So it could be metal, right? Uh, but this piece right here looks a little bit like a chair or something like that. I don't know, hard to say. I don't recognize this from, recognize this from the movie. Uh, but I, I do like how this all looks, but what I don't really like is uh, this base, like this this yellow part, uh, because uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be some stone or like what kind of material this is, but uh, this part right here just looks to me like that somebody just forgot to finish it that's how i feel right because this the this piece right here or or here it's not amazing but it's okay uh but this just looks unfinished in my opinion and uh, here it is the same right so somebody somebody just forgot to to finish this piece so uh, unfortunately this shows that the value of uh, this statue will not be as as high as we all would like but if you will not be f really focused on these uh, these smaller parts then I think you will be still pretty okay and you will be satisfied and uh, before we will finish this video, I would like to show you some comparisons because uh, I think that's uh, what all of us uh, like to do. So here we have also one Thanos from Diamond Select. So I will 
put them here so that you can see how they look together uh, and uh, this one right here uh, it is not uh, the movie version of Thanos it's a comic book version uh, so that's why you don't really see the likeness uh, with Josh Brolin here because the the face is just completely different and he looks more like a some weird skull uh, and he's also much more pinker uh, than the blue one uh, in the behind then also he has two gloves uh, one is the uh, the one with the stones and the second one is pretty much the same only without the stones and then he has this huge p gold piece right here on the on the shoulders uh, which i don't really like uh, it just looks weird in my opinion he looks like that he just surprised uh, surprised us and that he come out of something and only his head just uh pops out of it so i don't know i, I don't like this one uh but i do like how massive he is uh you can see that the legs are just outstandingly uh strong and uh, also the base is just unbelievable uh, this is a masterpiece and uh, to getting this uh, from diamond select it's it's pretty outstanding uh, so yeah but if i would have to choose i would still prefer the one from infinity war and that's simply because of the fact that uh, i'm the type of collector who likes to have uh, statues and action figures from movies uh, not from comic books even though that I love comic books and I collect them as well I still prefer to have uh, movie related uh, statues and figures so that's why and as I said he's, he's also uh, almost a masterpiece in my opinion so yeah and they both are uh the more or less same expensive so you can simply choose between uh like whichever you would like to have um but that's not it because i don't have only two thanoses i have three And if I will put him right here, hopefully he will stand as he should. Then you can see that he's way bigger, right? And he's also looking absolutely stunning. I mean, here, like the likeness with Josh Brolin is just <laughs> on point. Like it, it's just him. There is no no other way than that. It's it's just him. So yeah, here you can see why I am actually selling these two smaller guys right here, uh, because I think that it's okay to have only one Thanos in your collection, and if you should supposed to have one Thanos, then why not? this one right now uh, i mean you can still get the battle damaged version uh which uh is released now as i'm recording this video uh so the battle damaged version has the red glove and uh, it has some extra details uh let's say but uh i think that this this one is still freaking good um uh, and uh, I forgot to mention that obviously this is a Hot Toys uh, Thanos from Avengers Endgame. And yeah, maybe it's it's just the pose. Uh, but no, no, it's not the pose. Like, it's just the way how he all looks. And he has 
two head sculpts, he has plenty of accessories, he has removable pieces, uh, you can articulate him more or less any way you like. So he's just uh, unbelievable. And you can get him uh, for obviously much more money than these two guys. Uh, but yeah, he's he's almost like 10 times more expensive uh, than uh, these diamond select guys so it really depends uh, on you how high is your budget what you can what you can go for uh, so for me obviously the hot toys one is the best one it's still like as we speak the most expensive uh, action figure which I have in my collection so far uh, but this review is about this guy and uh, if you will be able to get him then for the price that he is now in shops uh, like the value is still unbelievable so yeah that's all from my side i hope you uh, did enjoy this video and if you did don't forget to uh, put a like and subscribe and you can also let me know which uh, of these tenoses uh, are your favorite ones which one would you like to have in your collection and uh, i will see you in the next video